The Philippine Navy has significantly strengthened its maritime defense capabilities by integrating Augusta Westland AW-159 MEMK-220 Wildcat helicopters equipped with Rafael Spike non-line-of-sight missiles, a transformative step in its modernization journey. On May 25, 2025, a photo release on a Facebook page highlighted the deployment of a Spike NLOS armed Wildcat helicopter aboard the guided missile frigate BRP Miguel Malvar, FFG-06. This development marks a critical milestone in enhancing the Navy's aviation strike capabilities through long-range, precision-guided anti-ship weapon systems, positioning the Philippines as a formidable force in the Indo-Pacific, particularly in the contested West Philippine Sea. The AW-159 Wildcat, developed by Leonardo Helicopters, formerly Augusta Westland, is a multi-role maritime helicopter and an advanced evolution of the Westland Lynx. Utilized by the United Kingdom's Royal Navy and export customers like South Korea and the Philippines, the Wildcat excels in anti-submarine warfare, anti-surface warfare, over-the-horizon targeting, search and rescue, maritime surveillance, and vertical replenishment. Equipped with state-of-the-art avionics, active dipping sonar, radar, and electro-optical systems, including forward-looking infrared, the Wildcat ensures exceptional survivability and mission flexibility. Its compact design and folding rotors enable seamless operations from frigates like the BRP Miguel Malvar, which have limited deck space. Originally designed for submarine detection with lightweight torpedoes and depth charges, the integration of the Spike NLS missile transforms the Wildcat into a potent anti-ship platform capable of neutralizing enemy vessels from standoff ranges, serving as a force multiplier for Philippine Navy task groups. The Rafael Spike NLOS missile, part of Israel's renowned Spike missile family, is a precision-guided fire-and-forget weapon with observe and update capabilities. With a range of up to 32 kilometers when launched from helicopters, it features a dual electro-optical and infrared seeker, enabling day and night operations against moving or static targets with pinpoint accuracy. Its secure two-way data link allows operators to adjust the missile's course mid-flight or abort the mission, enhancing operational flexibility. The Spike NLOS is highly versatile, integrated on ground vehicles, naval vessels, and helicopters, and can engage enemy surface combatants, speedboats, coastal defenses, and land-based targets. When paired with the AW-159 Wildcat, it enables over-the-horizon engagements, allowing Philippine Navy warships to project lethal force while maintaining a safe distance, a critical advantage in modern naval warfare. The BRP Miguel Malvar, a Jose Rizal-class guided missile frigate commissioned on May 20, 2025, during the Philippine Navy's 127th founding anniversary at the Naval Operating Base in Subic, Zambales, serves as a central platform for these advanced operations. Recent enhancements have positioned the frigate to support naval air operations, with the Spike NLS armed Wildcat adding significant lethality. The ship's radar systems can cue the helicopter's missile system enabling a multi-domain approach to cover vast sea zones and engage threats effectively. This aligns with modern naval doctrines of distributed lethality and over-the-horizon targeting, crucial for operations in contested maritime zones like the West Philippine Sea, where tensions with China over disputed territories, such as the Scarborough Shoal, remain high. The Philippine Navy's adoption of the Spike NLOS builds on its earlier success with the Spike ER missile, operationalized in 2018 on multi-purpose attack craft. The transition to the longer-range Spike NLOS, deployed on both AW-159 Wildcats and Acero-class patrol gunboats, represents a significant leap in capability. During the Balakatan 2025 joint exercises with U.S. forces, the Navy demonstrated its missile prowess with the Wildcat and Asuro-class vessels, like the BRP Albert Magini, successfully engaging targets at ranges up to 24 kilometers off Palawan. These exercises showcase the Navy's ability to strike floating targets and unmanned surface vessels, reinforcing its readiness for both conventional and asymmetric threats. 
This strategic enhancement reflects the Philippine Navy's broader vision to modernize its forces and assert its sovereignty in a geopolitically complex region. The Spike NLOS Armed Wildcat enhances the Navy's deterrence posture, offering a rapid response capability that can counter threats ranging from small, agile vessels to larger naval combatants. The missile's combat-proven reliability, as demonstrated in various global theaters, ensures the Philippines can rely on a battle-tested system. Furthermore, the Wildcat's advanced sensor suite, including its dipping sonar and radar, allows it to perform multi-role missions from anti-submarine patrols to surface engagements, making it a versatile asset in the Navy's arsenal. The integration of this helicopter-missile combination also highlights the Philippine Navy's growing interoperability with allied forces, particularly the United States. The Balakatan 2025 exercises underscored this synergy, with joint operations demonstrating seamless coordination between Philippine and U.S. platforms. The ability to deploy precision-guided munitions from a helicopter platform enhances the Navy's contribution to coalition operations, strengthening its role in regional security frameworks. This capability is particularly vital in the South China Sea, where maritime disputes require robust, flexible, and precise response options. Moreover, the deployment of the AO-59 Wildcat with Spike NLS aboard the BRP Miguel Malvar signifies a shift toward network-centric warfare, where sensors, platforms, and weapon systems are integrated for maximum effect. The frigate's ability to act as a command and control node, directing the Wildcat's missile strikes, exemplifies this approach. This development not only enhances the Navy's offensive capabilities, but also improves its defensive posture by enabling early threat detection and engagement at extended ranges. The Spike NLOS's versatility also allows the Navy to adapt to evolving threats, including non-traditional challenges like piracy or hybrid warfare tactics. The Philippine Navy's investment in such advanced systems reflects a strategic response to the increasing militarization of the South China Sea. By equipping its forces with cutting-edge technology, the Philippines is signaling its resolve to protect its maritime rights and contribute to regional stability. The AW-159 Wildcat, with its Spike NLOS missiles, provides a credible deterrent, ensuring the Navy can respond swiftly and decisively to any aggression. As the Philippines continues to modernize its naval forces, this helicopter missile pairing will remain a cornerstone of its maritime strategy, enhancing its ability to safeguard national interests in one of the world's most strategically sensitive regions.